Nausea and fainting, both uh, among many side effects caused by migraines. The painful headaches are common among kids and teens, but there aren't many treatments for them. KPI X5's Betty Yu tells us what UCSF is doing to get rid of them for good. I got up in the morning and I had this crazy, crazy migraine and then I just passed out. Charlotte experienced her first migraine and fainting spell when she was in the third grade. She's 16 today and headed for her junior year in high school in Walnut Creek. The daily migraines haven't stopped. I've definitely missed a lot of school and a lot of class time because of migraines and it definitely has affected how my grades turn out. Charlotte and her younger sister, 12-year-old Piper, both suffer from migraines. Doctors say it's fundamentally a genetic disease and it's a common problem affecting 10 to 15 percent of teens, particularly girls. But there are very few drugs approved for their use. There are anti-epileptic drugs, anti-blood pressure drugs, um, drugs that are used to treat dementia, any of these can be used to treat migraine, but they have potential side effects. So Dr. Amy Gelfand at UCSF is turning to a new therapy using melatonin, an over-the-counter sleeping aid. She's leading a study that's testing it in children and teens debilitated by migraines. A smaller pilot study last year showed teens taking melatonin nightly had fewer migraines per month than those on placebo pills. It's fairly well tolerated. We're really not seeing a lot in the way of side effects. Dr. Gelvin says melatonin is meant to lessen the frequency of migraines. Before I started taking it, I would like wake up in the middle of the night and like I would have like a small headache. I sleep like more deeply through the night without disruption, I guess. And that kind of helps me wake up without one. UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital is the only pediatric specialty headache center on the West Coast. I think there's a lot of interest in using non-prescription treatments for migraine in this age group. So I think it's something that is um, very much worth thinking about today. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.